Hey, today I'll be talking about my project Ancient Light. So I'm particularly interested in this idea of light travelling for thousands if not millions of years from the stars and affecting the photosensitive film. Um, I'm particularly interested in materiality and the idea of thinking about the materiality of starlight. I use analogue film, so this is the kind of camera that I use. It's called a Canon Rebel and it's a 1980s camera which is really good. It's got um, a wide angle lens which you can see here. The kind of film that I use is Ilford Delta 3200 and that's a really high ISO film and that means it's much more sensitive. Okay, so you can see here that I've set my lens to infinity, so it's focused to infinity and it's on the biggest aperture which is 2.8 and that means that you get a lot of light coming in and it means that you don't have to spend ages focusing um, trying to find the right focus because it just focuses to infinity um, and that's what I consistently use across all cameras so if you have a medium format or a large format or a 35mm if you think about focusing to infinity that's the most important part. Okay I've shown you how to set up your camera so now it's time to go and shoot some photos. Hey so now it's night time and we're going to be taking some pictures by starlight so it's just before the moon is rising and I can see um, some stars and I can actually see a satellite right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my camera up I'm using uh, the focus to infinity and I'm using the largest aperture which is 2.8 and that's to let in as much light as possible. So this is really what my PhD is about. It's about this light travelling on this journey for many many years, up to millions of years and then coming into contact with a piece of film and it's actually ancient light, it's light that is really really super old and we have the capability to work with it and to make prints using it and for me that's something that's really special something that's worth writing about for five years <laughs> so today we're going to do really long exposures of anything between 30 seconds to five minutes 30 seconds is good to remember because any time after that the stars will start to trail in your image and that is really because of the spin of the earth um, you can find out more about that on astrophotography websites which I'll link below. So one of the things that I was talking about yesterday that I got missed off was um, talking about tripods and stability. So what you want is something that's really stable. It's probably not a good idea to try and hand hold your camera if you're doing exposures of up to 30 seconds. So I recommend getting a tripod like this one. Uh, it's pretty good. It's from a car boot sale and it was about a pound. Um, but you can get things like that on eBay. This one's quite lightweight but actually if you're doing really a lot of astrophotography I would suggest getting quite a heavy tripod. The stronger and heavier your tripod the less it's going to move. And I was also talking about a shutter release which you can kind of see here. This one is really good and it's built spe specifically for uh, Canon cameras. You also want to get a lens which focuses to infinity so just a word of advice, if you're developing these yourself, please push them to stops. So push the film to stops means leaving it in the developer for a little bit longer. So at the moment we're all uh, quarantined, so one thing I would like to suggest is that we could collaborate on this project. Um, I used to travel around the UK quite a lot and actually sometimes to different countries like Iceland and Italy taking photographs of the night sky and now that's something that I can't do but I do have a lot of friends and a lot of um, people that I know around the world I thought it would be fantastic if people could take analogue photographs of the night sky from their locations and um, if you have any questions you can just email me and I'll help you to do it as well so here are some photographs taken during quarantine and these are photographs taken from my backyard and if you haven't already please subscribe and join my Patreon.